Hello my dear friends welcome to aspire 32 and today we have another important case discussion and uh, this case discussion can help us to learn a lot so as you can see in this x-ray the patient came to me uh, with this lesion which is extending on the distal root and there is also on the mesial root now the patient did not come to me because uh, the patient had severe pain uh, the patient came with a chief complaint that the crown has come out and when you are in this situation where the patient is asymptomatic and uh, you have a big lesion in the tooth, you are in a dilemma whether to tell the patient to go for retreatment or whether to go for directly with a crown. Now why this is important because suppose you have put a crown and tomorrow if the lesion uh, aggravates then the, then the patient will come, and to, come to you and may ask you that uh, you could have suggested a re RCT before itself because it's a financial loss when you are doing it to the second time. Although you can do a RC through the crown, crown, but without magnification, it is very difficult and you may end up doing perforation if you are not skilled enough. So this is always a great scenario because the crown is already out and you have an ability to do a retreatment. So uh, I explained everything to the patient and uh, uh, the patient decided to go for re-RCT even though there is uh, the tooth is asymptomatic. Now the question is why is this case failed even though you might see a quite acceptable obturation because I have seen cases which are under obturated, under extended and like there is no GP and cases survive for many years. Unfortunately in this situation it has not happened. It may survive with the lesion for many years, but as an endodontist, I feel that the lesion is big and it has to be retreated. So the obvious question is, why did this case fail? And when I look at this case, I feel that there are multiple reasons, but one most common reason is because the patient had a deciduous crown, which was put at age of 13 and there was a hole in it. Ideally, people would ask you to replace it at age of a 17-18 years with a permanent crown because the deciduous crowns are thin and uh, if you use it for many years, they are bound to perforate. So here what has happened is the patient age is 21 years and uh, now uh, the cap has come out because the tooth also has erupted and uh, the, the crown uh, has doesn't have strength. So most likely, the crown is perforated and uh, it has leaked. Uh, so the important thing to learn here is put a good core build up material whenever possible which can from a good brand, uh, well proven which will uh, last very long. Second is uh, obviously the distal root is short and um, it is under obturated there is a gap uh, in the distal root and maybe, maybe that is the reason where the infection is uh, still present and that had led to the lesion. So these, these can be two reasons because although you might have obturated it but sometimes if you are not reached the working length and proper working width the case will may not succeed. So, so how did I treat this case? Um, this case uh, the main priority is to reach the working length and working width. This is a young tooth because it was treated in at the age of uh, 11 12 years and that means the canal would be definitely wide there is a lesion in the distal and it is quite big so i would like to place some calcium hydroxide and uh, that is what i did i enlarged the distal at 4 percent 40 and the mesial i enlarged to 4 percent 35 of course along with that you can either do thermoplasticize or lateral uh, use a good sealer and uh, observe the patient for uh, one week and see if the patient is asymptomatic after completion of your treatment you can go ahead with the crown. Now the very important question which everybody wants to know is that how long should I wait till I put a permanent crown uh, there is actually uh, no specific guideline I would wait for 10 days and then I will put a definite crown if you want to be safe you can put a temporary crown wait for one month but this much amount of lesion generally takes 3 to 6 months to radio, radio, radiographically uh, to see the change. So if you have done your job properly, you really don't have to wait for 6 months. Just put the crown, always tell the positive and positive things and negative things of doing retreatment. 
रीट्रीटमेंट्स आर चैलेंजिंग यू कैन ऑलवेज फ्रैक्चर इन इंस्ट्रूमेंट जीपी में गो बियॉन्ड और यू मे नॉट बी एबल टू रीच द वर्किंग लेंथ तो इट्स अ स्किल्ड जॉब इफ यू आर कॉन्फिडेंट ओनली देन अटेम्प द री आर सिटी इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन प्लीज मैंशन इन द कमेंट सेक्शन एंड आई विल बी हैप्पी टू हेल्प यू